God's plan for you was established long before you were born and he hasn't changed his mind. Our topic today, God can lift you up, part 1, James 4 verse 10. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. That was James 4 verse 10. This advice in scripture is very important in our relationship with God. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. It works this way. When you try to exalt yourself, God brings you down. But when you humble yourself in his sight, he lifts you up. He does it because you are his child and he loves you. You may feel like a nobody right now, but in God's eyes, you are a somebody. Who but God could reach behind a hedge, find a never-do-well, and use them to win multitudes to his kingdom? Who but God could go to the brothel, find an addicted practitioner of sex trade, and use her to impact the world? Who but God could look in a Galilean fishing boat and find Peter, call him, transform him, and use him to build the church? God loves to do things like that. And since he does not show favoritism, Romans 2.11, you have every right to believe he will do it for you too. The Bible says, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23 verse 7. When that little voice inside you whispers, you have no talent and you will never amount to anything in life. That is not God. It is Satan. And the Bible says, he is a liar. John 8.44 That is why you need to tell him, I don't believe a word you are saying. You can't put me down because God has raised me up. God's plan for you was established long before you were born and he hasn't changed his mind. So you need to discover his plan. Then make sure your feelings, thoughts, actions and words line up with it. Read and meditate on 1 Peter 5 verses 5 to 7. It says, Likewise, you who are younger be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Our meditation today is taken from Proverbs 29 verse 23. One's pride will bring him low, but he who is lowly in spirit will obtain honor. For your Bible study, read Luke 14 verses 1 to 24, Genesis 25 and Psalm 18.